Yeah. Hallelujah. Everybody is made very unique. <laughs> what are we saying? Quality relationships. <laughs> Hallelujah. Language is given a platform to, for heavenly relationships. Amen. You receive one another in the spirit. Okay. But that guy that want to fray you, he doesn't have any respect for you. Because if he has respect for you, hello, then he will know you are covered by the blood of Christ. And that relationship will be quality. But you will allow it when you are thinking of yourself in a cheap way. Lady, you think yourself you are cheap, then you will give yourself in that way. But you, if you understand the blood, you know you are so awesomely precious. And no man can touch what he can't afford. Because I'm bought with a price by the man, Jesus Christ. You ladies, get attitude, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and that they know you are bought with a price. And if that man doesn't give him the right... In marriage, you don't touch me. Hey? You can buy me chocolates and take me for, for, for the movie and all these things, but you don't touch me just what are touching me here. You know. Amen. Yes. True relationship that is eternal. Number seven, confidence, boldness, Hebrews 10. We are back in Hebrews 10 verse 19. Hebrews 10 verse 19. Therefore, brethren, since we have full freedom, everybody say full freedom, Glorious. and confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies by the power and virtue in the blood of Jesus. I have confidence because of the blood of Christ. I have confidence in my life, confidence to react, to dream, to strategize, to have a life, to walk in relationships. There's confidence because I'm standing in and through the blood. The quality, the most perfected quality sacrifice. And language given to me to relate in every facet of my life. Therefore, there is confidence in me. The language you can write down. A language creating trust. This confidence is a language that creates trust. When you speak, people start to trust you more and more and more. When you open your mouth, trust is coming to you. Language creating trust and security for expression without fear of being rejected. Speak through the blood of Christ. Speak that what He is doing. And when you speak, people are trusting you more and more. And they feel that they can express what is in them and you will not re reject them. You will not feel immature and get offended and you this and you are this. And you can speak your heart and they will not reject you. Amen. But so many times we are so in performance and we need wisdom, you know, in how we speak to one another. Because that doesn't mean you can speak like some other mampara to one another, you know. You need to treat one another with respect. And you need to know how the blood is working in your life. And if you know the blood of Christ, you will have respect for that person. And we will not just speak whatever you want. So you will speak in a correct way. But we can receive one another in such a way. Do we have un, an understanding in this? There's confidence. I will not be rejected. I will not be rejected. I can speak and I, have, I can have an expression of my heart. Even sometimes I am wrong. And I can receive when somebody else tells me I am wrong. I can receive it. Because I have boldness, confidence through the blood of Christ. Amen. The language given to me. Number eight, we are invited in. We are welcomed. We are welcomed in his presence. Hebrews 10 verse 22. Let us all come forward and draw near. Everybody say draw near. Amen. Come forward and draw near. Why can you come forward? Because you are invited to draw near. You are invited to come in. The hospitality that we see through the blood of Christ. The hospitality of God that is drawing us, His loving kindness is drawing us closer. Amen. Invited in. A language with words that receive one another. 
a language with words that you are welcome with me. We are welcome with one another. There's a hospitality. And it's not the professional, hey, 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 you know, giving the holy smile here, but then we, we're out doing our own thing there. And we feel welcome with our TV and welcome with our whatever. Whatever you entertain yourself with. Doesn't mean TV is wrong, I'm just saying. Entertain yourself with healthy relationships of people that you receive and be received by people. Be open to be received by people. Be open so that people can welcome you in, into their lives. You feel lonely? Rock up for a relationship. Hello? Here I am. Welcome me in. <laughs> I tried that, but a few guys didn't do that. I said, invite me. Invite me for pizza or something, you know? Hmm. Okay. You are with me? Rock up for a relationship because you have boldness and these facets need to work in your life so that this can be a reality. That you can be invited and you can invite people into your life because the language that you speak is doing that. But sometimes our language is because I don't like him. Yet I can eat date for me. I don't have time for that guy. Because I don't know the blood. How God has time for everyone. Amen. If I have his heart... I will have time for people. That doesn't mean you must have appointments from the morning 6 to the evening 10, 12. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about attitude. And the Spirit will help you. Amen? And the Spirit of God will bring to you the right people that you need for a healthy life around you. People that will be true and genuine friends. That will be gifts from God given to you as friends. But rock up for that. Step out in faith. What you sow, you will reap. Eh? Rock up to be a friend. Not like, yes, they are not friends to me, you know. And I don't feel peace about this group of people anymore. No, your rejection don't have peace anymore. Let it go in Jesus' name. Walk over that, remember? Not here? Walk over that rejection and get into that place. Sitting here for four years, and what relationships do you have? Sitting here for four years, what quality relationships do you have that is really honoring, honoring God? That when people look at you, they say, as you have love for one another, whoa, I can see you are his disciples. People can say, no, you are coming from Christ. You are following Christ because the way that you behave one another with one another, the way that you relate with one another, you must follow Christ. To have that type of relating. You with me? That is boldness, confidence, and then invited in. Number nine, changed transformation through the blood of Christ. Hebrews 10, 22, again. Let us draw near with true, honest, and sincere hearts in unqualified assurance and absolute conviction. Sure. Okay, why? Because having our hearts sprinkled and purified with a, with a, from the guilty, evil conscience and our bodies cleansed with pure water through the blood of Christ. Purification, cleansing, changing by the blood of Christ. There's no way that the blood is speaking to you and you'll stay the same. There's no way that you can stay the same. But if you understand the blood and the blood is speaking in your life and the authority of the blood is in your life, you will change. Every time you will change. And when you speak to people, they will change. When you speak the language coming through the blood of Christ, they will change, you will change. People speak to you, you change. They change. You are just benefiting from one another. You are just going higher and higher and higher. Because point number one, we said the mandate, there's depth, quality, authority in every word. When you have that authority to say that word, because only because Christ gave everything for you to be able to say that one word to God and God to you. Are we with one another? Amen. We are changed. Language giving authority to change. And I want to say a language demanding change. This language demands a change in your life. 
you will not be able to speak this language for long if you are not changing. Because then the blood is not working. The blood is not working. Yes, we can fall and stand up, we can rise up. Yes, when you've sinned, you come back to Christ. But somewhere the, the blood must work in such a way that it's not like a quick fix. Many times people don't have respect for the blood, blood of Christ and see it as a quick fix for something that I've done wrong. Forgive me and I carry on. Forgive me means also there's a repenting. Amen? Forgive me means also I commit to change. Amen. <laughs> I commit to change and put off my cell phone. Amen. Okay, you with me? When you say I, re I forgive and forgive me, you say I commit to change. Amen. Otherwise, to God and people is some other cheap word, but it's not through the blood that he's speaking. Not at all. Hallelujah. Number 10, proclaiming his death. Everybody say, proclaiming his death. Proclaiming his death. One, 2 Corinthians, no, 1 Corinthians, 11 verse 26. When you partake in communion, when you drink the cup and eat the bread, you're proclaiming his death. You're proclaiming his death. Why? Through baptism, you proclaimed, you've died with Christ, but you are raised in him. You are being raised in Christ. Amen. Amen. So you have a risen life with a risen Lord. But with communion, every time with communion, you're proclaiming his death. He gave everything. He gave everything. And because he gave everything, I'm proclaiming that there's grace for the world. There's opportunity for the world. There's grace for me in my life. Are we with one another? There's a language for only one message. You can write there. Proclaiming, proclaiming his death. Okay, whatever is happening there, praise the Lord. Okay, must I work with something else? Hello, Mayday. You are there? What are you thinking about? Hey. Can we have some uh, one, two, three volume? Proclaiming his death through communion. Amen. So that's what we need to proclaim also. That's why in different situations you come into that place where there is... Oh, I'm very treble. Please, can you help me? You come into that place where there's curses, where there's things that is not from God. Stand in that place, have communion. You're standing on that land, curses are being made on that land. Standing at your, at your work, workplace, standing there where you are studying, and all these rubbish they are talking about, and you'll proclaim his death. You and some friends of you go and have communion there. Amen. Proclaim with authority the blood of Christ and what Christ has done for you and for the people. Hallelujah. Number 11, show and display his victory. Show and display his victory. How? Revelation 12 verse 11. And they overcame through the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, and they didn't love their life even unto death. Amen. So it starts with the blood. To proclaim and to... To proclaim his death, yes. To show and display the effect of his blood is by walking in victory. Display and show what the blood of Christ is all about. That means walk in victory. If you're not walking in victory, what is the blood all about? For what? For what is the blood all about? It's just cheap religious talk. In the beginning, man created God. But if God created man... And gave his life and gave his blood. And you receive that and the blood is working in your life. You will overcome by the blood of the Lamb. You will overcome because through the blood he overcame. And you are more than a conqueror. Amen? Because of his blood. He is the main. He is the one that overcame. But you are more than a conqueror in him. Trophies of his victory. Everybody? <clears throat> Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. Come down. 1, 2, 3. Come on, let's try it. 
Nee, 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 nog nie. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Oké, okay, uiteindelijk. 